Hi you guys, my name is Guru Shakia and welcome to my beautiful channel. This is for all air signs, your love, sex, and romance reading for September 2017. So this includes Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We're going to get right into this reading. Keep in mind that it is a general reading, but if you want something more specific to your energy, you can book a reading with me down below. I do have a reading called, Who is my soulmate and what are their characteristics? Um in the detail box below so i'm gonna get right into it um so some of you guys may not be able to focus on dating wholeheartedly this month because you're still going through a breakup or um the loss of a loved one even and you can't really focus too much on um enjoying what the dating life and the dating atmosphere has to offer you um a lot of you guys may be, may be encouraged to invest in a rose quartz for your heart chakra um, a lot of crying may be taking place this month. A lot of getting over past exes and past traumas. You are encouraged to get fresh air and to not lock yourself um, in the closet literally or at home or inside the house all the time if you're dealing with depression and despair from love and heartache. Um, a lot of you guys are still dwelling on the past, dwelling on your ex, lovers, and so forth and I feel like you're encouraged to cut all ties because it's like a suffocating energy um it no longer serves you this person did nothing but you know taunt you whether it's about your weight how you look they suffocated you literally only wanted you to themselves held you captive etc um and I feel like that could have traumatized you to the point where you know you don't want to do anything with anyone you don't want to get to know anyone you you just want to be single you want to just be like locked up in the house but you are can, encouraged to get out and to get fresh air um some of you guys could be falling in love soon literally around fall or the autumn season um or around the time where a lot of you guys are are going back to school you could be meeting someone or your soulmate in a school setting or atmosphere um or just while you're away um from home a lot of you guys will be dealing with a very wealthy suitor um this person has money um and time on their hands they're very marriage minded so if you haven't met someone like that already they could be coming into your atmosphere or you may be that person watching this video now um i keep seeing the number five five so in your love life you could be manifesting instantaneously instantaneously at this time so whatever you say goes whether it's a friend with benefits whether it's real love true love um marriage in mind <clears throat> um you could be manifesting your soulmate rapidly and out of nowhere um but very much so as i always say if you feel like something's right it's right if you feel like it's not right then it's not right um, some of you guys do have this fetish and kink about like <laughs> maybe like oral sex or things like that that you need to tell your partner that you like and enjoy more. Be open about your sexual needs and wants with your partner. It could be that some some of you want to try like orgies or things that seems out of the norm that you don't really speak up about. But whatever you choose to do, of course, you save sex. <laughs> um, but some of you guys are very worried about being taunted in your sex life sex life but there could be um light at the end of the tunnel if you're willing to be kind of open or express it it's kind of like an energy of sitting down your partner and being like look i know you may judge me but this is something i have to get off my chest so forth this is what i like to do i'd like to do it with you but if you don't want to do it maybe we can make an arrangement to where i do something myself or if it's something bad you can even like sit someone down and <laughs> say hey look i think i need therapy for certain things if it will help your love life or your sex life um but some of you guys will be meeting someone who is very marriage minded some of you could be getting engaged this month or receiving a ring from a lover you've been dating for a while it gives me like a past five years or so now um a lot of communication with having children um and so forth in the future with your loved one this month um, a lot of you guys will be getting what you asked for this month as far as a lover. You may be getting, of course, your soulmate is coming up. A lot of you guys have been wanting uh, someone who cares about you, loves for you, who's very tender and loving, caring. And they may be all of that. You may be getting all of that this month. Um, feelings of loneliness, despair could be resol resolving this month. Um, and you could win someone very special, um, if not already. Um... Let's see. 
Let's see what else is coming up. Um, there's some people who are causing you real, a lot of stress in your dating life. Um, maybe they're wishy-washy. Um, but I feel like you're encouraged to cut ties with people who weigh you down or make you feel shame and guilt around your sexuality. Um, especially if you're trying to rise above past childhood traumas, things of that nature. And this person just keeps beating you down about certain things. Um, be free is coming up. So if you're single, enjoy your singleness. Of course, you can mingle and shop around. They're saying... But nonetheless, enjoy being uh, your singlehood. Um, and you don't always have to be tied down to have fun so or to be accepted by the social norms or things of that nature. Um, or for people to like you even or for your family to accept you. Um, some of you guys will be thinking, okay, do I really want to stay with this person for the long run? Or do I want them just as a temporary fix to things? And I feel like you're encouraged to be honest with yourself this month and those around you. Like, what you really want, what you really need. A lot of you guys will be having mature conversations about, like, maybe coming up with a mutual agreement with each other. What you really want and what you, what, what you guys desire from one another. Um... A lot of you guys could also be manifesting or meeting your twin flame um, this month. And it just keeps saying fall. I mean, this is a relatively short reading because I'm just, just getting straight to the point. Like, a lot of you guys need some a lot of healing to do and to take place before you can even move on to meet your soulmate or twin flame. Um, if, especially if you feel like you're juggling too much at once. And maybe it's not really time to manifest. It's going to be a struggle to manifest your soul, soulmate and twin flame if you have a lot of emotional baggage still to deal with and heal. And you know that um, it's not really time to focus on things like that. But some of you guys who feel a little bit more balanced in your life, um, it's just about being patient for that person to waltz in or for a, a current relationship to blossom even more. Um, some of you guys will have some financial stability in your relationship. Uh, maybe it's something that someone brings to the table if you're not that person already ready. Um, <clears throat> again, some of you guys could be falling in love with work workplace atmospheres, people who you uh, work in business with, things of that nature. Very charming, um, very charming people. Um, but whatever it is in your winning in your um, dating life you could be winning soon as far as whether it's you, you're going to get the outcome that you want whether it's progression emotionally spiritually mentally um i do feel like spirit is going to send people to you to, to let you know that you are attractive and worthy whether it's people flirting with you online through social media through tinder through in real life in the grocery store <laughs> just out and about in your hobbies um but if you feel like oh i'm single i don't got it um, I feel like your guys will be showing you like people are interested in you. You just turn the blind eye or you don't really pay attention. Um, you're too wrapped up in your either social media or how you look or how you feel or your ex is how they treated you. But there's people who may be wanting to court you at this time and you just have to pay attention and be open if you if that's if that's something that you really want. But again, some of you need a lot of healing to take place. Um it's not much kinkiness in this reading. Um, more so just healing, patience, timing. A lot of you guys are very really goal-minded this month. Um, and working on personal businesses. But, but nonetheless, you can meet someone in that atmosphere. The last card is Accelerated Motion. So again, your twin flame is coming. Um, they could be meeting you halfway. So whatever transition you're going through in your life... It could be that they're um, going through this transition with you. Um, and you could be, let's say you're traveling and they could be meeting you while you're out traveling or while you're out exploring new terrain. Um, when you, a lot of you guys are like, oh, I'm ready to leave home. And this may be the change that you need to spark like a ripple effect in your dating life as well as your, like your your mental health well-being in general. Um, but a lot of you guys just need to focus on taking care of yourself. If anything, um, masturbate, you know, get some sensual oils, get in touch with your sexuality in that side, winding, dancing, bubble baths, um, take care of yourself more so first than before anyone else. Um, then you can probably in the long run consider adding someone to your life. Um, 
but you can do kinky stuff for yourself. I do see some kind of like BDSM things if you're into that stuff. Um, some of you guys may be considering dominatrix things like that that are outside of your norm. A lot of signs have been wanting to be more. Um, <laughs> I feel like a lot of guys are are or girls are already submissive in their daily life, and they may want to take control in their sex life or vice versa. So if you're into that stuff. It may be something that you can try. You might like it. But that is it, you guys. That is your <laughs> monthly love, sex, and romance reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.